Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and this is the Faster 8 series. Now, I do have a Faster series dedicated to Windows XP Vista 7, and finally, I'm doing the Windows 8 one. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your internet browsing speed by doing a simple task like switching your internet browser. This is very easy to do, and anybody can do it. Now, remember, the PCM Tech Help Show's philosophy is to do everything with completely free software. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to this series so you can watch the whole thing and learn how to supercharge your Windows 8 machine with free software tools. Because that's what we do around here. All right, so let's get started. Here I'm looking at my Metro UI, my beautiful Metro UI. And what I want to do is I want to move away from Internet Explorer and into a faster browser. Now, a lot of people like to use Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or Waterfox. There's a lot of different options out there, but personally, I like Google Chrome. So really go with whatever you think you're going to be comfortable with. Usually, I recommend people who don't have extensive experience in customizations that they move to Chrome. And if you don't want complete, I mean, if you want complete customiz customization ability, I don't even know if that's a word, <laughs> you have to go to something like Mozilla Firefox, which has a lot more plugins and add-ons and things like that. Both of them are a lot faster than Internet Explorer. So on your Metro UI, go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. I'm going to show you where to get Chrome. Personally, I want you to go to www.pcmtechhelp.com. And this is, going to, this is my website. This is my formal website for all these videos. It's where I keep all the free downloads and all the video tutorials. And... Uh, it's kind of one of those things where we're going to keep coming back to this throughout the video series as we use more and more tools. At the top here, there's a free download section in the menu. Highlight it and scroll down to Browsers and Plugins. And then select Browsers. Well, Highlight Browsers. And then you want to select Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. In our video, we're going to be using Google Chrome. Uh, Google Chrome has been around for quite some time, uh, about two years now, three years and it's grown by dramatic speeds. So I'm gonna click download here, and then it'll bring me to the main download page, and then we're going to be visiting Google Chrome's website. Now Google Chrome is, like I said, like the fastest browser experience you can get. Uh, it's completely free, of course. So once you've actually entered the main page, click download Chrome. And you can tell them if you wanna send them anonymous statistics, that's up to you. And I'm gonna go ahead and click accept and install. Now on the bottom right hand corner I have to click run, save, or cancel. I'm just going to click run because I don't need to save a local copy of the installer on my system. Now you'll notice it brings me to my traditional desktop then user account control asks me if I want to make the changes to the computer. I'm going to click yes and the Google Chrome installer is going to launch. See now what the Google Chrome installer does at this point is it actually will go out and download the entire browser locally to your machine and then it's going to automatically install, or automagically, like I said in the first video, install your Google Chrome web browser. The reason Chrome is faster is just because Google's done a better job of optimizing rendering speeds and things like that. So, downloading Google Chrome is complete. And so at this point, it's going to jump straight into the installation, installing Google Chrome. See how easy this is? You mostly are just going to stand here and watch it happen. Now, yours will probably go faster or slower than this. It just depends on your system, so just be patient. Now, in the upper right-hand corner, it says you have new applications that can open web pages, and that's fine. Google Chrome says your profile cannot be opened correctly, and that's fine because what's happening is Windows is trying to keep people from using it. So just click OK. <laughs> Windows doesn't really want you to use Chrome. And then now I get to choose my default browser. I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to choose Google Chrome because I want that to be my default web browser for all applications now. And then here, we're set up. We officially are running Google Chrome. Now, I actually strongly encourage you at this point, this sign-in and sync is completely optional. And you can use any of your Google accounts. If you have a YouTube account, if you have a uh, Gmail account, uh, if you have any kind of Google services account, at this point, you can actually enter it here. And it'll actually remember all of your bookmarks, all of your search history, and it'll synchronize it with any other computer you sign into this browser from. And so you kind of get at any given time, no matter what computer you're sitting at, you get a up-to-date experience of what you've been doing on other browsers. So this is actually an excellent service I recommend you, you use. But if I go back here to the left, upper left corner, I'm going to go back to my website. 
PCMTechHelp.com, and we're going to see, uh, you might not notice or you might notice that the website itself will load a lot quicker as far as rendering speeds are concerned. And uh, that's kind of one of the big reasons we switched to PCM uh, to the Google Chrome web browser. So there we are. We have it all set up. Now one thing you might want to do is pin this to your Metro UI. This is very easy to do. Let me go ahead and, oh, looks like it did it for me automatically. If I go back to my Metro UI, you'll notice that Google Chrome is now available in the upper right hand corner. And Google did a good job of making sure that happened. So now I can just click that and it'll bring my browser right back up. So that's all there is to this video. We have officially installed Google Chrome, which is great because in the future videos for Windows 7 and the faster Windows 7 optimization series, we're going to be using Google Chrome a lot because we're going to be going to different websites and downloading different tools. And so this is a great starting point for finally getting a working model for what we're trying to get done here. So as always, thanks for stopping by. And remember, PCM Tech Help's not limited to just this series, so make sure you subscribe. I do have a live broadcast, which includes full questions and answers segments, so you guys can ask me any questions. And that's from 9 p.m. Eastern to 10 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Thursday. So four days a week you can ask me questions about this stuff. And if you have any other concerns or issues like that, don't hesitate to swing by the community page, pcmtechhelp.com forward slash community. And that's where over 100 members, as of right now, we all are just actively waiting to help you out. It's a completely free community, and it uses Google+. So thanks for stopping by, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And stay tuned for future Faster Windows 8 videos.